Looks like we have some news about Halo Infinite's campaign DLC and how it's going through some issues right now. If you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. It's the best way to help out the video. Let's get right into those details. Now, last December, we found this that Halo The Endless was being trademarked by Microsoft and it's been kind of just hanging around in the back for quite some time and we haven't really heard much about it since. And there's a good indication that this is going to be gameplay related stuff to Halo Infinite as it's downloadable game software, computer game software, video game software, a lot of stuff mentioning digital downloading. Also mentioning organizing of sporting events, competition and sporting tournaments field of video games. So this stuff does just seem to be like an actual bit of like campaign DLC we could get for Halo Infinite. Well, as reported by Halo Hub over on Twitter, it looks like there's some issues coming along with it as now the Halo The Endless tag is being opposed. And it's being opposed by Amplitude Studios, a French based studio who have their own game called Dungeon of The Endless. So you can see right there, yeah, that's a bit similar naming convention right there. Sadly enough, it might be some issues right there when it comes to how the development of Halo The Endless actually goes down. There are multiple ways Microsoft and 343 could get around this by maybe just titling and saying like the endless war or something. Or will 343 have to go back on the development and redo a lot of things because of this trademark already placed by a different company in France? Or could Microsoft outright buy the game? We don't know. There are many different ways they could go about resolving these issues. And we've been following this trademark story since it was first placed back in December of 2021. So with the recent change of priorities with 343 focusing on the live service game, that game up and running, which we have seen recently with the winter update and also the December update, making huge leaps forward to making this game actually feel like a live service. The current rumors that we've been following along with Halo Infinite and Halo The Endless showing that any form of campaign DLC is really been put on the back burner and a really small team is just kind of developing this fleshing out the stories and see what the plan would be moving forward to develop this. So any hopes of campaign DLC happening this year? Not likely. As we mentioned earlier, 343 is focusing on the live service of Halo Infinite, so I wouldn't expect any kind of campaign DLC coming around anytime soon, especially not during 2023, as I would expect to see that the multiplayer side of things being up and running at full speed probably around the summer, if not fall of 2023 as the winter update and season three are really the first steps forward to true seasonality with this game. And with the rumored date of the also rumored Battle Royale of Tatanka coming around possibly early 2024, I wouldn't expect any kind of campaign DLC to come before that major content drop as well. But as we do on the channel, I'll keep you guys updated with everything going on with Halo. Cause like Activision knows they can just kind of double down on Modern Warfare 2. Because I know people are gonna download it and play it no matter what. Play every point I'm scared. <laughs> All right, well, we're not gonna peek that way then. Let them have that OS then. They won that. Like this heaty, heaty wave. Oh, rockets are still up in that thing now. No, no one in the spawn. Damn. Oh, they had people leave. Lame. Just because I'm good. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> they have boots. What about the Wait, where are they? Did that already despawn? Wow, that was quick. Get clapped. He ain't ready for this heat. We're just making him quit right now. Easy dubs. Sign up for rockets, it looks like. Oh, he got right behind me. Sheesh! What's up, Raider? Yeah, if you want to hop on in, I think we have a spot for one more in the stream. Oh, I'm already in the, in the matches right here. I'm <laughs> just watching Radar. Being total scummy on that play right there. No! Oh, I lived! The streak lives on, baby! 
The streak continues. That's our running riot, baby. Let's go. Damn, Catbot. <laughs> Interlinked? You love the follow right there. Rampage, baby. I'm getting a little overzealous here. No! He got the wrong kiss! No! I was on a 22 kill streak, man. No! <laughs> Oh, dude. <laughs> That's pain right there. Getting killed by Rocket, too. Makes it that much worse. I should have not died by those. I should have had those. Oh, what? Come on. That's a headshot. He knows it. He's still right here. Oh, damn it. 26 and 3, dude. We're just going off this game. Might need like 20 kills in a Team Slayer, right? I think I got those kills now. The prize, bitch! <laughs> oh, that's not gonna save you now. Ah. Oh, we got him with the grenade. Let's go. <laughs> the skill based matchmaking is weird tonight, man. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. We finally got our first social game. I think about since the game's released, I got our first, like, social, actual true social game. Victory. Went 31 and 4 that match. Getting destroyed by those rockets just hurt me so bad. They hit me. They hit, actually hurt me. We're on a 22 kill streak.